Hi, I am Mala and uh, we are going to see about the question that is asked in homework assignment 12. Uh, say what is object oriented programming and why would you use it uh, and we have to give an example which would benefit in case it would be an ORP pattern rather than a functional or event driven programming or a pattern. So I'll skip over uh, what is object oriented programming. I have explained with an example of a person and uh, class which is written over here and uh, the uh, properties or the properties or the benefits of the object oriented programming are interfaces, abstraction, reusability, polymorphism, inheritance and aggregation and many more but uh, we have I just give an example of a car store which can have a person uh, which is default and person can be a dealer or a customer uh, and a customer can have different properties like uh, name, buy and a dealer can have different like company, buy, payment and a person can have different buy, car bought, car license number and another uh, object oriented purpose is a return over here in explained term of car that a car is a class and a Ferrari is a car a uh, Ferrari is obviously an object of car so therefore uh, it is making it reusable so I can change, uh, change from Ferrari to let's say a newer version of Ferrari rather than you know, a model of 80s or 1980s or 2000 we can say that 2017 Ferrari is the latest Ferrari uh, and I just gave an example in terms of a game angry bird which would benefit if it is written in an OOP rather than functional or event driven so this is my explanation in words uh, but I'll just skip over to the pseudo code so let's say we have a class world I have main three classes so we have a world class blocks and a bird so world class is what we get to see in the angry bird uh, So I'll just go through over with the help of an image and so let's say that uh, uh, we can get a simple version of it uh, okay let, uh, yeah let's see this image uh, which is rather small for the explanation uh, so okay we can see this view image so let's see this is the world over here with the background this platform ground uh, with the object and this also as a part of its world so we have a world main class which we will initialize when we start the game and uh, display the world but the world can have an entity so entities can include objects like this bird or this pig or this blocks. Blocks are also entities of the world which are individual smaller components. So let's say we have a class bird. Class bird extend entities. Entities have basic information like with the height position x position y weight which weight will be used to determine the speed and the motion of the trajectory path of the bird which will be hit and the forces will be calculated to destroy the tower so we have class bird which extend entities the bird has color images a uh, cost to buy which is can be over here with energies and subset we can have a method abstract void math uh, abstract void power so red bird is a simple bird which doesn't have any but uh, let's say if it were a blue bird or a yellow bird so yellow bird have different powers regarding to it so that they defines and uh, block so block can be seen we can have an ice block we can have stone block we can have a concrete block we can have a steel block we can have a wooden column or uh, any uh, block is general definition and uh, we can define we can what the world belongs to 
we have a behavior of that uh, related to the physics if the impact to be low damage blast it could also be a bomb which will explodes on head so it can be many more things which are just implemented in behavior and we have behavior but we need to uh, show the users how it is actually done so we have another matter animation which uh, acts according to the behavior or the types we implement over here and uh, uh, let's say I have implementation so I have class blue word extends a bird so blue word extends a bird uh, bird class bird class further extends the class entity so bird is a blue bird is actually an entity uh, but it is a grand uh, grand sub 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 very uh, lower class uh, but entities are what we will be using in entities array to show into the world with the position relative to it so that's it and uh, we have a steel block which can be uh, over here somewhere so we can say there are steel blocks uh, like this six dice is shown over here and they have different animation and different which also extends from the block and this can be a block column which have different width and different height and uh, okay, basically if it is in my column or a, a slab doesn't matter the matter what matters is just an orientation we can flip it over here by just extending it so that is just a property so if the angry birds were to be written in an event driven or a functional manner uh, the, this would be a lot of and a hell of a complicated task to manage all the entities in an array or any other data structure and uh, just repeatedly giving each of them different position and work with and different things so uh, the angry bird has to be written in the using uh, has to use object oriented programming for uh, better development and effective management of it so thank you